Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Stacy. And I'm Tom, and we're RV Texas, y'all. And today we're gonna share with you a little bit of a air conditioning slash heat pump repair that Tom had to make on our RV. Yeah, it went a lot smoother than I thought. Things happen sometimes, so it's good to kind of be okay with doing your own DIY every now and then. Absolutely, I think it saved us a lot of money and time, so stick around. So last night, about one o'clock in the morning, we heard a horrible noise coming from somewhere in the RV. <laughs> And we figured out it was actually, we think, the fan on the heat pump slash air conditioner in the front. And so we turned everything off and went through the rest of the night and now Tom's up there checking it out. Okay, well you saw Stacy filling me up on the RV, checking on our AC, and you know, that was one of those things that, due to how it sounded when it went bad, I knew it probably wasn't anything too major. It wasn't like the compressor was going out, it sounded like a fan broke, and that's exactly what it was. I wanted to show you, it's got these internal fans in there, and you can see it broke off some teeth and so I took this out and this one was in there with it they actually went like this so at the time I thought well maybe it's just one piece but actually these two if you can kind of see it they were one so what happened to it was First, they split in half like this, and then it really went off balance, and it caused it to break these teeth in there. And that was a horrible racket Stacy and I were hearing, and it was getting worse and worse. And so we got it turned off, and you know, if it wasn't for us, Stacy and I taking the course at the National RV Training Academy, I don't think I ever would have opened up that AC and done that. But I mean, that gave me the confidence to, to do it. I, I, it really wasn't that difficult. I mean, this is something that I think just about anybody could do. Um, it only took, let me show you. These are all the tools that it took right here. And this basically to take the big cap off and this to take some of the internal parts off so I could get to the fan and uh, so I'm going to kind of take you with me up there this time and uh, show you the uh, fixing it and and also I'm going to show you another thing we got these combs and um, your fins on your air conditioners if you take the tops off sometimes those fins get all bent up well that really affects the performance of your AC and slash heater. Ours is a, uh, a heater as well. Um, so I'm gonna try to straighten those out and I'll kind of show you that when we go up there as well. So, you know, well, let's go. And by the way, while I'm going up, got the new part, after we figured out which part it was or basically what it was, we called Tiffin and um, talked to the parts department there at Tiffin and they knew exactly, they called it the squirrel cage. And it makes sense, it kind of looks like a squirrel cage. So we were able to order it, a couple days later we had the part here. We had to wait a few more days because the weather's been kind of rainy and really windy. A little windy today, but I think we'll be okay. 
and uh, so now we're we're ready to get her done. Okay, so here's the AC. On top of the AC, you have four bolts, and uh, two of them kind of stripped out on me the last when I took it off. I've only got two on there now, and I'm going to replace all four of them with new bolts that we went to Home Depot and got those. So we'll be doing that. Incidentally, I brought this back up, the broken one, so I know what direction. I know this was the far one in, like this, so I know what direction the fins, the blades, need to be going. good friend of ours here um, that we met at the campground taught me and it saved me a lot of time from before so it's by using a screwdriver Oop. that's an outtake <laughs> on you know thanks so I can get in there See, those would be real difficult to get to, so that's why the, the screwdriver works perfect for this. Um, and then there's two more right here. So with that, we just got to move this out of the way, and then I'll take this piece off. So let me put the camera down. Let me go on this side. straighten out with the fins and 
show you this. So see in here, this is where the squirrel cage goes. Okay, so again, I told you I wanted to bring the broken piece up. This, if you remember, I told you this part was the middle that broke off from the other cage. So I know it goes in like this. So I know the fins face in this direction. Like that. So now I'm going to put her back together. try to straighten out some of these fins. There's different sizes. There's different sizes here. So I'm going to try to figure out what size we need. see how it's straightening them out. It's that easy. So I'm going to straighten out the rest of them, bring you back and kind of show it to you. conditioner is working perfectly and this is a heat pump also so that's why it went out on us because the heat pump was on and then it, the fan broke but I was going to show you kind of what I'm combing out on this side so you can see it even better
combs them right out. Gives you better circulation. Okay, now I'm gonna put the top back on. Some of the bigger diesel pushers, they're not even putting ladders on the back, so you've got to prop one up on the side, and I, I like this a lot better. But Stacy even said that the air conditioners sound quieter than it ever has, uh, and it sounded like it up there too. I mean, it was it was smooth. So hey, happy to have that done. <laughs> If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, you know every once in a while we're going to have some of these fix-it type videos. Uh, so hit that subscribe button. Until next time, y'all, safe travels and happy camping.